Enclosing the spondylitis, an overview. Enclosing the spondylitis is a hot topic. Enclosing spondylitis is an inflammatory condition affects young adults, occurs more in males. It affects the spine, the sacroiliac joint, and large joints, for example, the hip. Enclosing means rigid or fusion. Spondy means spine. Spondylitis is inflammation of the spine. The patient will have inflammation followed by fusion of the spine and sacroiliac joints. Other large joints, for example, the hip may be affected. So the patient may complain about morning stiffness, low back pain, and maybe hip pain. The pain associated with ankylosing spondylitis gets better with exercises and not with rest. There is a difference between rheumatoid arthritis and enclosing spondylitis. Rheumatoid arthritis affects synovial lining of joints. It affects predominantly the cervical spine. Enclosing spondylitis affects ligaments, tendons, discs, and some joints, but it will affect the entire axial spine. So what are the characteristics of enclosing spondylitis? The characteristics are, it's part of the seronegative spondyloarthropathy, means rheumatoid factor is negative. Although the rheumatoid factor is negative, the HLA-B27 is positive. Ankylosing spondylitis is a systemic problem that involves the immune system. It's almost like rheumatoid arthritis, but with the negative rheumatoid factor. Enclosing spondylitis risk factors are young male with a positive family history plus HLA-B27 gene positive. What is HLA-B27? The HLA-B27 is part of the immune system. It's an antigen. It will be on the surface of the cell. It probably has the same amino acid sequence as the protein produced by Klebsiella pneumoniae bacteria or by food or by other things. So when the immune system identifies this protein and it goes through the bloodstream, then these T cells can recognize that antigen, that protein that's in the surface of cells, the HLA-B27, and then they will say, I seen that before, this is bad, let's attack it. So it recruit other cells to attack it. So everything that contains HLA-B27, whatever, tendons, ligaments, joints, discs, will be attacked because they think it's a bad protein. Because the protein produced by the bacteria, for example, or by the HLA-B27 have the same sequence. And that immune system cannot tell the difference between both of them. So it is an autoimmune disease. These patients will have fusion of the spine. The spine will not have any free movement. So the patient will complain of gradual stiffening of the spine and limited chest wall expansion. Less than 2 cm of chest wall expansion is more diagnostic than the HLA-B27. Enclosing spondylitis is a difficult condition to diagnose, and the x-ray will show bamboo spine. You will get SI joint involvement, which is characteristic for enclosing spondylitis. You will get fusion of the SI joint. You may get systemic autoimmune disease that will give you fever and malaise. 
You will get your uveitis, redness, and inflammation of the eye. You get aortic inflammation may lead to aneurysm if the aorta is dilated or aortic regurgitation. Patient may have depression. You do the blood test, will be HLA-B27 positive. The sedimentation rate and CRP could be high. Treatment, you're going to use things that decrease inflammation. You may want to use anti-inflammatory medications, physiotherapy to improve flexibility and the strength of the spine and joints. You can use TNF alpha blocking agents. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.